Alright everyone, welcome back to Tomb Raider. Unfortunately in the last episode the Scottish guy died. Not whatever, I mean not too happy with that, but let's make do, We've got to carry on. Okay, there's a climbing wall there, which means this yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew it as soon as I seen the, the climbing wall, I knew I was gonna have to grab onto that. Oh no! I got her. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> That's right, mate. I got you covered, girl. Holy fuck! You to climb up. Thank God. Leverage. Grim, you, you stupid bastard. I'm so sorry, Ross. No, don't be sorry, Lara. Just make it count. We'll raise a glass to the old man when we get out of here. I'm going to try and get closer. Can you cover me again? Yeah. I've got to clear this out with my rifle until the palace wall. Okay. So about leverage, that would be leverage. Rescue chopper in 888 RC responding to SOS inbound from Freighter Trinity. This is Conrad Roth of the Endurance. Do you copy? It's like uh, one of my biggest things is like when our word ends in like. Did you hear that? Hmm? A rescue helicopter is inbound. That's great news, Roth. Set up a signal. I'm going in for Sam and the others. But Lara, maybe I should. This isn't like the pilot, Roth. I got Sam and the others into this mess. I'm getting them out. It's like when a word ends in like ing, so like something. But somebody will say they'll say something. Something. That, oh, that, <laughs> whew, that bugs the fucking shit out of me, man. Something. I really, oh, that really annoys me. Let's see what we've got here. I thought I got that already. I hate that. <laughs> oh, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but something. You know what I mean, something? I mean, I get we have accents and stuff, right? For example, I'm trying to think of a word that I say that people don't really... Like, for example, a UK thing, instead of saying shit, you'll say shite. Like, that's bullshit, right? So that's the normal word, bullshit, bullshit, but you go off. That's fucking shite, you know what I mean? But, like, something, I don't know why it gets under my skin, but it just does. <laughs> Sometimes it says something, I'm like, Argh! Or any ING word, as I said. Come in that way. Yeah, come in that way. Right, let's go. Oh shit, it's about to kick off. Look at this wide open area. Yep. Whoops, sorry, I beat a pot. <laughs> I thought it was another VMO thing. Ali! That takes some serious right, fucking plums. That bridge is swarming with guards. Great. Any ideas? It'll be tricky. But you can probably make your way across underneath. Mm. I was afraid you were going to say that. Don't worry. I'll be covering you the whole way. Like a fucking coin purse must be massive, you know what I'm saying? Is there a reason to copy. But I do dig this game, I'm, I'm glad they kind of revived the, the Tomb Raider series because this is like one of those games, you know what I mean, like in 98, 99, whatever it was, 
when uh, the PlayStation 1 was out and it was one of these games that I definitely did play because back then it wasn't about the, uh, the online play as it so much is nowadays which is kind of a shame because I felt as if I do feel as if games have went down a wee bit I mean look at this shit dream on uh, because back in the day it was, all, it was all about playability it was about keeping the game entertaining and I, I don't know how many games I must have played Maybe four or five times back in the day. Father Matthias will send us to the Oni if we don't find him. I thought I lost you, girl. Are you okay? That was too close. <laughs> This Ross is something fucking shot, by the way. Stop. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Check that shit. Out. Thanks for the cover. I think that makes us even. Lara, look out! Break this girl's leg. Surrender. I mean, what? No. I mean, that is a shot of champions right there. I mean, what the fuck? Holy crap! Oh, I'm surprised it wasn't slow more there. One of those big epic jumps. I'm heading in. Are you sure about this, Lara? I'll get them. I'll come back. I promise. Yeah, back in the day, like, I remember when I got to like maybe kind of Call of Duty 4, like that kind of era, even before then, uh, there was that kind of online aspect, and I wasn't interested, I remember seeing it in games, and I was like, what, what the fuck is this? And I, I never touched it for like, two or three years, four years, I wasn't interested in this online thing, <laughs> it, was, it was all about the story, the campaign, that's what games were to me, until I got uh, Call of Duty or something. As usual, I mean, just like the rest of the lobby world there. And then it kind of all changed and there was this big multiplayer market. I still do love a really good storyline, like just, uh, I mean, I remember when I played Skyrim, I haven't played it like a lot, a lot, but like when I first played it, it first came out and I done my own kind of uh, build. Oh, fuck. Uh, I really enjoyed it, you know what I mean? I've, got into it. I mean, I mean, it was all story based, there was no online aspect, but at the same time, because you're spoiled by the uh, multiplayer, you kind of wish there was, it was like a World of Warcraft thing, you wish it could have happened. Like a few of your mates in Skyrim just rotting about the place, fucking killing some dragons and shit. She's whipped out the boat again! Vladimir, outsider! Enough! 
Dimitri, Nikolai, bring her to me. in nature will turn and fight when its very survival is at stake. So don't think I don't understand you, girl. I've just been doing this a lot longer. Ready yourself, brothers! Our queen is about to speak! Speak to us, Inigo! Speak to us! Look at me. Look at me, okay? She... She's the one. Soon, my brothers! We will be reborn! Take her to the throne room. Your fight is over. Rambo in this B. Let's get down there. Come on. But, I mean, as you see that there, is that the biggest pile of shit you've ever seen? And she's like, okay, there's 20 dudes. I'm gonna whip out my bow. I mean, come on, one AK, like magazine. <laughs> you would have took care of that entire room. But no, let's whip out the bow for the one hour shot. What a pile of shit. <laughs> That's kind of shit, it's just... That doesn't make any sense. <coughs> Some kind of natural gas. assign a job, a purpose in the Solari. As long as Matthias continues to prove his spiritual connection to the Sun Queen, they will fall in line and believe. Initiation to the Brotherhood is brutal. We need to destroy their humanity so that they in turn can be inhumane. New recruits are thrown into the depths of the caverns or left to starve and fend for themselves for days, sometimes weeks. Those who make it out alive are welcomed with open arms. I still can't explain what kind of power Matthias has tapped into. But I don't care anymore. We're never getting off this goddamn island. Some days, I'm convinced we're all in hell already. God knows with the things we've done, we might as well be. I. That's another thing as well, like... How many fuckers have been stranded on this island? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Matthias thinks Himiko's spirit is keeping us here. That's not possible. It's not possible. But he's so beyond crazy that maybe he's come right back round to some kind of sane. The helicopter isn't our way off. You know that, Lara. Eat your gut. I have to warn the others. If we board it, we're dead. I can't get this yet. The crap is out. But I mean, like, so cool. Like, 
how many guys have I killed during like this? I mean, I'm going to say at least the seventy-five to hundred range. <laughs> like, how many poor bastards have been like fucking stuck in this island? But I think we'll stop it here. Nice wee save point for this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode.